do is I'm going to create a basic Lego man. So I'm going to start by grabbing my rounded rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a little rounded rectangle. It's going to be a little top plug for his head. Um, and then I'm going to draw another rounded rectangle which is going to become his actual head. I'm going to go ahead and line those up, get them nice and centered. Uh, one thing I like to do to keep my drawing nice and clean and organized is I like to divide those shapes, um, ungroup them. So I'll use my Pathfinder to divide it, then I'm going to ungroup it by right clicking and ungrouping, deselect it, and then I'm going to unite those two shapes together so then it'll give me a nice clean edge. So I'm going to do that throughout. Uh, my drawing with this Lego man. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and draw his neck. So I'll grab just the rectangle tool to draw that. I'll just draw a little rectangle there. I'm going to switch back to the rounded rectangle. We're going to use this to uh, draw his torso. Okay, so we'll make that a little bit wider than the body. Okay, so one of the things we're going to do with this torso is we're going to flare out the sides. So I'm going to take my direct selection tool and I'm going to grab this anchor point and I'm going to flare out the sides on both sides. About like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my delete anchor point tool which you'll find underneath the pen tool and I'm going to delete this anchor point here on the bottom and I'll do the same thing on that side. And then uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to convert that to a corner select this with my direct selection tool, come up to the top, convert that to a corner so it gives me a nice flat edge along the bottom. Okay, so the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is uh, we're going to draw his waist here. So I'm going to grab my rectangle tool, draw a little band here that's going to be the top of his uh, waist there. We're going to draw another rectangle here that's going to become, uh, I guess we maybe call his pelvis area. Okay, um, and right through the center we're going to draw another little piece here where the legs will attach to there. We'll call this his uh, dingle dingle area. And then what I'm going to do to this is we're going to create a little bit of a point to it. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my add anchor point this tool this time and we're going to add anchor points um, near the bottom but not quite there. And the reason we're going to do that is because we're going to push in this bottom part to create a little bit of a more of a triangular shape there for that area. Okay, uh, now what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, we're going to grab this rectangle tool again and we're going to draw a rectangle up to the corner of that uh, part where it in, indents there. We'll do the same thing here on the opposite side right up to the corner. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and select those three pieces that I'm going to use my Pathfinder to divide it, right click and group it, and then I'm going to unite these pieces back together here in the center. So if you hold shift you can select those pieces and then just use the Pathfinder to unite it back together. Okay, uh, now we're going to go ahead and uh, give him his feet here on either side. We'll just do that with the uh, rounded rectangle tool. Okay. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and work on his arms. So to make his arms, I'm going to start by uh, drawing an ellipse shape. We're going to turn that to the side a little bit. And I might push this in just a little bit. Pull that out just a little bit with my direct selection tool. Okay, I'm going to shrink this up just a titch. And then I'll just grab my uh, rectangle tool. I'll draw his forearm here. And I'm going to go ahead and line these parts up to, uh, to make his arm. Okay, so I want it to be nice, nice and neat. So I'm going to go ahead and take my uh, Pathfinder, unite those two shapes together. And I've got a few little wonky places, so I'm going to go ahead and fix those with my delete anchor point tool. So let's get rid of that wonky corner there to uh, make that nice and neat. Over here, might flare that out just a titch. I'm touch that up just a bit, and there we go. Okay, so now I've got his arm. We're going to go ahead and come along the bottom of the arm with our ellipse tool. We're going to draw a little oval here that's going to cover up the bottom make this look a little bit like a macaroni noodle. So I'm going to grab those two shapes, I'm going to divide them, I'm going to ungroup them, then I'm going to unite these two pieces back together. 
get a nice clean edge. Okay, so the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to work on uh, the hand here. So I'm going to draw a little circle here that's going to become his hand. And I'm going to draw another little circle here that's going to become the top of his wrist. But I'm going to go ahead and draw a rectangle to uh, attach that to there. So I'm going to take this uh, circle and this little square here. I'm going to line the circle up with the corners of the circles with the edges of the circles with the corners of my square and unite those two shapes together. Might make that just a little bit wider. Bring that down to become his hand. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and unite those shapes together again using my Pathfinder tool. Might adjust those shapes just a little bit. Okay, so um, I'm going to do a couple things here. First, I'm going to draw a little uh, circle inside the hand. So I want to give this hand a little bit of a uh, little bit of shape here. I'm going to give it a little bit of dimension. Then what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to copy this piece. I'm going to flip it around upside down, and I'm going to scale it down. And we're going to stick this the inside of the hand here. Let's scale that down just a little bit more. We'll tweak this just a titch. Let's get everything just right here. You know what I'm going to go ahead and do? I'm going to extend this part down. So I'll take my direct selection tool, make that a little bit longer. That'll make it easier to do what I'm trying to do here. Okay, so I'm going to push this up. Whoop. Create a little bit of a keyhole shape. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and select these pieces. I'm going to divide them. I'm going to ungroup them. And then I'm going to delete this stuff right here in the center of the, the hand. Like that. Okay. So now uh, I more or less got this hand. I might give this a little bit of a rotation. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to group those together. So I'm going to right click and group. The reason I'm going to do that is because I want to just scale it down just a little bit to get the right size for my guy here. So we'll set this on this side. And I'm going to make a copy of this. And I'm going to reflect it. So um, right click, transform, and reflect. And I'll do that on the vertical click. And okay, so now I've got both of these arms here on either side of my Lego guy. I'm going to go ahead and select them both. And then I'm going to right click arrange send them to the back here okay uh, now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to uh, go ahead and put this yellow Lego man color inside here and I might even also increase the stroke size here by uh, to the two points there to make it a little bit blockier there we have our Lego man